Welcome to the Bob and Tam Show today. And our excellent adventures. Today we got something special for you today. We're heading out to... Mitchell, South Dakota. And we're going to go visit the Clockworks. So uh, let's go see what we got to do and see if we can get a tour around. Yep, so don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and think about Patreon. Let's go. Hi guys, I'm Brian Clock. Welcome to Clockworks. I don't know what else to tell you. We've been in business since 1997. We're celebrating our 25th year, and we always invite people to come August 4th to our pre-Sturgis party, which has grown and grown. If not, you'll see us at Daytona, you'll see us at Sturgis at some of the major rallies. Uh, we have become the air management experts. I grew up being a chopper guy, building bobbers, sports are choppers, and of course, my dad and his friends had baggers. So eventually, uh, we set the land speed record for the world's fastest bagger in 2006 became the Bagger Kings. And uh, now we have designed all kinds of windshields for everything. Um, super crazy busy here. It's right before Sturgis. So I'm gonna step out of the way and let Brian Lester, one of our new guys, he's new for us for a year and a half from Tacoma, Washington, but we're proud to have him on our team. And uh, really it's all about Team Clockworks. I'll let him take you on a tour. Hey folks, welcome to Clockworks. Come on in. Let's show you around. Hi guys, Brian Lester at Clockworks. You're in Mitchell, South Dakota, home of the Worldwide Distribution Center and main showroom for Clockworks. Uh, let's show you around. What would you guys like to see today? We have uh, everything from custom bikes to assembly uh, to our distribution warehouse, a bunch of construction going on in the back. We can show it all to you. So if you want to start over here, we can show you some of the bikes. This Triumph here is a custom build. Uh, this is a headlight out of a 1934 gram uh, coupe. So the bike, the fairing, was kind of built centered around that windshield. Kind of a neat looking windshield. Hard to believe this was on the front of a car up there on those front fenders. Uh, the next one we have is the root mule. The root mule belongs to Robbie Pastor. He gets to stay here on display uh, throughout the year until around the Sturgis time. And he comes and grabs that, takes us to Sturgis, and does some uh, drag racing with it. The next bike is the uh, SNS 50th anniversary bike we built. They took 50 of these motors and uh, sent them out to 50 different builders. And this was the build for us that year. Next, we have the Cherry Bomb. This bike, uh, to my knowledge, was built nine days before Sturgis. It was uh, assembled and built uh, for a biker build off for Brian to ride into Sturgis. Uh, we have pictures of it over on the walls of him riding this bike right after its completion. Uh, next build, which is our newest build, was for the FXR Friends Throwdown Arizona Bike Week. This is Brian's FXR, all raw metal. Um, they rode this into Arizona Bike Week from um, Winslow, Arizona, him and a bunch of friends. They all built FXR, so this one's a great, great piece of machinery. The raw look is phenomenal. Uh, you know, hats off. It, it really looks nice. We have the new Indian Super Chief. You can kind of see here we're developing some uh, some parts for it. We're in the process of doing a fender. Uh, so that'll be a new part being offered. These two bikes, which is unique, these are both Indian Scouts. One started, uh, you know, went kind of into a, a full wild transformation, took the motor out, put in a hardtail frame. This is Princess by Carly Cobb. Um, and so this is her bike. And then we have the Outrider, which is an Indian Scout that does a little bit more mild transformation, maintain the stock frame um, and more of the stock look, but it has kind of a mild to wild transformation, both the same bike. So it kind of shows what you can do with, with bikes. So six years ago, Jack Daniels and Indian Indian partnered together uh, to do a limited edition Jack Daniels Indian motorcycle and they're doing a model every year for a run of seven years. Uh, this was year one, and then as we go through, we'll see year two, year three, year four, year five. Year six is currently out on a photo shoot, which was the Jack Daniels Indian Challenger. Uh, typically, Indian keeps number one, Jack Daniels keeps number seven, and Brian Clock gets the last number of the series, and they run from 150, 177 to 107 models made that year. Uh, this year's model, 107 of the Jack Daniels Rye, went on sale and they sold out in 40 seconds. So people were uh, extremely lucky if they were able to buy one. All right, so here we have the new Harley Davidson Pan America. We are actually in process of developing a windshield for this. We have our first prototype done, still doing some testing and tweaking, but that should be coming out soon. All right, Harley Davidson Pan America. 
This one is the new hot item right now. This is the new new. This is the one everybody's blowing up the internet about. This is the new Lowrider ST. Uh, this is our new six inch flare. We just debuted it last weekend at Born Free, San Diego Customs, Codlin, um, and uh, another gentleman had one on their bike in the shows. Um, this, is, this is blowing it up right now. So we're currently taking pre-orders. Uh, we're making a list, checking it twice, and as soon as we get the inventory in stock, we'll be calling everybody that had interest and seeing if they still wish to purchase one of these windshields. Uh, Clockworks teams with Strider Bikes. Strider is located in Rapid City, South Dakota. Um, these balance bikes are really the first step of getting your young one on a motorcycle, basically on a bike. It's really neat seeing uh, kindergartners rattle these things and start pedaling them and then, you know, keeping their feet down. And then they eventually put their feet up on the, on the floorboards or pick them up and coast. And you can just see the, the happiness in their face when they accomplish something that they've never done before. And once they get their balance done, they start riding bicycles. It gets kids outside, keeps them active. Um, and hopefully once they're riding bicycles, they want a dirt bike and then someday they want a motorcycle. But another couple, couple of the custom bikes, we call this one the Pumpkin Spice. This is Vanessa Clock's Orange Vicla. Um, if you notice, it has the uh, anniversary orange wall tires from Metzler that they did. Just kind of went with that theme. Once we had the orange walls on there, we just kind of went, uh, went wild with this thing. Um, definitely a head turner when it goes down Main Street of Sturgis. And here is uh, one of Brian's personal bikes. This is the Rogue Glide. This is called the Tiki Glide. It's colored in Tahitian teal, mildly modified. We put our bars on it, our phone mount, our windscreen, our front fender, our uh, window trim you know, the windshield trim up here. Uh, I had the stock wheels chromed by Wiley Shiny. You know, put a saddleman seat on it. We've had Jeremy Senior do some graphic artwork to it from Lucky Strike Design. We had the fairing exchange, paint the inner fairing to match. We did the lower fork legs to match, painted our bars to match, a uh, set of Dakota digital gauges in it. It's just a great bike that doesn't look overly modified, but it has a nice classy look to it. With Dixon, and so we do a limited edition Clockworks Dixon flannel. So for all the Dixon fanatics out there that collect the Dixons like they're going out of style, um, including myself, we have our Clockworks Edition Dixon. So it says clock right there, has the tag. So nice flannel for riding. These things are great. Let's see, 2019, two years ago, three years ago now, we had a biblical downpour of rain. It was a flood. Um, all the water kind of converged in this intersection here. Cars out in front of the shop were buried to their roof line. We had about 30 inches of water in here. The bikes were buried. It was up to their seats. Uh, there's pictures online on our website. If you go to www.getclock.com, search through the photos, you'll see the flood. So this whole showroom was underwater. Bikes were up to their seats in water. The back was completely flooded. Um, gas cans were floating. All the toolboxes were full of water. A lot of product had to be scrapped. Um, all the walls had to be torn out. And uh, since then, we've kind of been in a constant state of upgrades and construction, which has been really fun. Um, this wall is our wall of fame. Everybody's dream back in the day, at least it was mine, man, it'd be cool to have your bike in a magazine someday, right? Like, oh, that's my bike. And to have the whole world see it. So here's a bunch of Brian Clock spikes that have made it into the magazines. This used to be our old dyno room back when we still did the motor tuning here in house. And now it's becoming our conference room. Finishing up some of the construction. We just finished the doors and got it painted and in the process getting a new table in there. Pre-flood, this is where everything happened. So this back room here housed from a wall about 30 feet behind the camera there to me and over was six aisles of industrial racking like you'd see at Costco. And this is where all the handlebars, fenders, trim, apparel, windshields, everything came in and out of was in this area right here. Uh, the corner over here was still the metal room and the fab room where we had all of our machinery. And this area over here did not have a mezzanine. And this is where we did all the bike work all the tech work, all the service tables were here, and up in this corner was Brian's office. Uh, since the flood, we have now got a new metal mezzanine. Uh, offices are going in. We're gonna have marketing up here and uh, CFO office up here, marketing. Over here is gonna be Brian's office across the catwalk, and we're gonna have our engineers' offices are gonna be up here. We're gonna have some storage going on. 
And then our metal room and fab room with the lathes and presses and stuff will go back in there. Goal, the, the final picture of this is, you can see this wall, the floor has been epoxied white. We put new LED lighting in, um, whited out the walls, whited out the rafters with spray foam. The final goal is that the entire floor will be whited out. Everything's gonna be painted white. The floor will be epoxied and we're gonna put a car lift in here. We'll have some lifts in here so we can lift up UTVs. More cycle lifts will come back over. They're off site right now and we can get back to developing parts and have the room to do a lot more R&D and, and progress at a little faster pace. Yes. Yeah, we have people stop. Uh, it really gets busy towards rally season. Um, we have that whole wall, red slat wall in there full of all of our demo windshields. So if somebody stops in and they've heard about our product and they don't want to do it in Sturgis because it gets really busy during the rally, they can stop here at the shop Monday through Friday. We close for the noon hour for lunch. From noon to one, we're closed. Um, and we'll throw a windshield on, let them run it up and down the highway, come back, take it off, put another size on, let them go up and down the highway. It's a little, it's a little nicer here because you don't feel rushed. You know, so if you want to go out and ride for 20 minutes, half hour, you can. You don't feel like you have to just go up the highway to the next exit, turn around, come back. You can actually ride around for a little bit. And it's, it's a nice, nice feature of coming directly here. So this is it. Imagine this as an old barn. And if you look around, we've epoxied the floors white. We've spray foamed, painted everything white, all LED lights, new doors, put windows in. We put the racking up ourselves. Uh, so we have this nice industrial racking and this is now our worldwide distribution center. We ship all over the world. We ship to Italy, we ship to Germany, you know, Canada, South America. No. Everything comes in and out of here now. Um, we have Todd Dozart over here, and he is our, uh, he's our receiving and inbound Morning. specialist. So he takes care of the counts when everything comes in for the semis, uh, making sure the count's correct. We have an assembly area set up, and they are assembling the aisle mounts. Our aisle mounts, um, it's the magnetic phone-based system. Do you have your phone on you by chance? Mm -hmm. Oh, this, sir, this gentleman right here. So Josh is our social media guru. So our phone mounts has a metal disc that goes on the back of your phone case, and then it just magnets right there like that. So it's great for holding GoPros, iPads, cell phones. This is our desktop version. We make them for UTVs. We make them for um, Harleys, Indians, Goldwings. And it's a, just a nice hard mount. It takes 12 to 15 pounds of force to detach that magnet. So you have to actually kind of slide it off. Um, there are some skeptics out there that don't believe the strength of the magnet, so we include the safety tether. So what you do with the safety tether is you put it around the mount, around your mirror stem or handlebar somehow, and then put your phone on. So um, A lot of people don't know, but we branched into the UTV market, the side-by-side -side market. So you take the technology we have from the original flare windshield and how well it works for a single rider on a motorcycle, and you double it, and you put two windshields side by side, and now you have the side-by-side -side UTV market. It's doing the same thing. It's grabbing that wind, throwing it up, the wind coming in, gets some uplift, and it continues up and over the rider's head. So um, kind of a simple way we test it, which I think is hilarious, is our engineer will develop the windshield, mount the windshield. He'll put his hat on facing forward, bill forward, and he'll run down the road as fast as the vehicle can go. If his hat stays on, it's a pass. If his hat flies off, he goes back to the drawing board and he adjusts heights, he adjusts angles, and uh, he gets it where it's, it makes it a better ride. It gets that dust, that wind flowing through the cab, gets it up out of your eyes, your hat can stay on. Uh, we do for razors, talons, um, CF Moto, the Kawasaki KRXs, um, got a, a bunch of stuff. We also partner with uh, Axia Alloys and we offer the grab handles and the roll cage mounts, um, which also includes our aisle mounts for the UTV. So the foam mount we offer for the motorcycles and for home, we also offer for UTVs and you can see them placed throughout the rig in here. While you're on your way to Sturgis and coming to see us in Sturgis, take an extra day, stop here in Mitchell, August 4th, Thursday night. We are having our 15th annual pre-Sturgis party. 
So it's going to start here on the campus. At 5 p.m. we are going to leave the campus. We're going to do a ride around Lake Mitchell and we're going to end up downtown by the world famous Corn Palace. We're going to have food vendors, we're going to have bands, we're going to have car shows, we're going to have bike shows. Uh, the whole community comes out. It's like a big street fair for our pre Sturgis party. Um, again, 15th year of doing this pre Sturgis party. The thing's going to be huge. You got to come out and see it. You know, so that's going to wrap up our tour here of Clockworks. You know, pretty neat place. You know, all American. Uh, got some great employees here. You know, even got the owner, Brian Clocks, there to step out and uh, say a little bit here at the beginning. So that was kind of neat. And uh, I highly recommend. I actually have a Clockworks windshield on my bike. Uh, I really like it. Works out really well. And uh, so, hey, don't forget about them. Hey, if you're here early, come on out here to their party out here in Mitchell. And uh, if not, maybe stop by here. If not, at least in Sturgis, you know, you can catch them there at Black Hills Harley or over at JMP Cycles uh, down there on LaZalle. Yep. Seems like a great place to work. Great people, everybody, all their employees, everybody was friendly, nice, well worth the stop. So subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and share us with your family and friends. Think about Patreon. Give us a big thumbs up. Ring that bell for notifications. And we'll see you on the next video. And we'll have to stop by here maybe next year and see if they got that whole back room all fixed up. It's going to be great. See you at the rally.